Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and um, two more apps that I don't think a lot of people use. Now, one that I'll be fair, I keep its live tile on my start menu because, yeah, it can give me the weather um, if I want to. So the weather app is one of them that sometimes um, I have clicked on and and looked at the live tile so here you see that i haven't had uh, I, I had not set up the um, weather app yet even though i have this laptop for a couple of months now but i do enjoy kind of having um, the live tile capability here on the um, the computer and i often did i often even had uh, the tile the live tile um, a little bigger because I wanted to have more information about the weather and um, that was kind of cool but um, I don't honestly use it that much even though I you know it's not it's 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 cool to have a weather app honestly uh, why not I mean it's a very complete app with a lot of information forecast and so on but where it takes its weather, I have always found that it had some differences and not, was not always really accurate with my location here in uh, Canada. Uh, which is often the case of a lot of apps of weather anyways. <clears throat> the other app uh, that I think everybody is kind of not, you know, with the changes now, I think Cortana is something that uh, most of us don't really want anymore. For you know, I I I had my fun times with Cortana at the beginning. I did use it as it was a standard um, assistant, like you know the Google Assistant and so on. And I I I had some fun with it at some point, and it was uh, interesting to have it. As time went by, I used it less and less, and now, of course, for a lot of you, uh, Cortana is totally changed some have fun a lot of functionalities that it could do for the regular user is, no, is are gone now it's clearly being transformed into an assistant to help out with business and so um, it now has more and more of its um, features and um, you know uh, oriented with doing things like setting up um, you know some um, things you like you know opening apps like office apps um or you know uh, setting up a meeting and in, in the calendar app and stuff like that so it's actually changing a lot and it's moving towards people that actually use you know business and and, and are focused in productivity it of course also means that a lot of what it could do uh, before is not available anymore so, you know, these are examples of apps that uh, a lot of people would like to have probably gone from their PCs. Once again, um, you know, some of the apps, they gave us the possibility to uninstall them. But there's a lot of the apps that the uninstall button is grayed out. Cortana is one of them. And uh, I know a lot of people, you know, since the beginning, I think even when Cortana was introduced, there were people saying, well, you know, I don't want this. I don't want to have this uh at all you know and uh yeah i get it and um i understand it also uh for sure but um that's that's interesting um you know, to to check out another one that you know even though it it's in the pc the, the maps app that um microsoft of course has implemented it's not that it's bad the maps app in Windows 10 is, is kind of nice. It's kind of cool. And um, basically, it, of course, is really, really cool to, uh, to check out the different capabilities of this app. But honestly, do any of you use this app? And um, I, I'm not sure that um, most of the, the people actually you know, use it. Uh, even though it's it's not that it's that bad. I think we all revert to Google Maps when we want to see something, which is kind of a, really a default, basically. 
Um, Google Maps is really our, our you know, go-to maps when we need it. And probably also because of our smartphones. You know, a lot of us have, uh, have Android smartphones that use the Google Maps functionality. So, uh, you know, I don't know. Any of these apps that you guys enjoy and use, uh, be it the weather app, the Cortana app, or even Maps, um, I sure don't use much of them. And once again, um, you know, it's uh, it's not that it's bad that they are there. Uh, honestly, it's okay that Microsoft has apps in our computers. Uh, when you install Windows, I have no problem with that. I just want and I just wish that they would give us the full capabilities of uninstalling each app. So Cortana, you cannot... Um, you know, for example, Feedback Hub app. If you're not an insider, you're just a Windows person, you might not use this. And, you know, at least this one has an uninstall button available. Uh, Groove Music app has an uninstall button. That's nice. Movies and TV. Movies and TV. Let's check it out. It uh, has an uninstall button. So Cortana is pretty much the only one right now. What about Maps? I went uh, straight forward to movies and TV here. Maps. So Maps has no one install button. It is uh, there by default. This is another one that you can't uninstall. So I don't know. Uh, it's kind of interesting to see um, the different apps in here and um, who uses them, actually. And... Um, you know, like I said, it's not a problem that they are available uh, in Windows 10. As long as there's that possibility of removing them if we don't want them, I think that's fine. Um, you know, every manufacturer of an operating system of devices, uh, you know, they include tons of apps um, in our computers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.